Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys making some time to watch the video. And today we're gonna give a little update on Lake Mead. I know that a lot of people out there are interested in this iconic bass fishery. You guys know that if you watch the channel that Lake Mead's my favorite lake in the country. So I've been following it pretty close. I'm sort of gonna give you guys an update what's going on out there with the water level and everything. I'm um, real quick, just wanted to give you guys a week of reminder. If you haven't had a chance to check out the view products tab, um, when you click on a video, you'll see a little thing that says view products. Um, if you click on view products, I got products I recommend you guys might be interested in. And if you click on one of those, the channel gets 20 cents every time you click on it. So click on five products, we get a buck here. So it's a good way to help support the channel. It's appreciated there. Okay, guys, like me, man. Um, I don't know if you guys know it, you know, Lake Mead has been the home of the U.S. Open, which is uh, arguably one of the most well-known bass fishing tournaments, has been since 1980. And for the first time ever, they had to relocate it this year to Lake Mojave because you can't launch a boat on Lake Mead. Lake, lake level's so low. Right now, the lake level, I think it's 188 feet below normal, close to 200 feet. And um, I was down there, you know, last month, if you guys saw the videos, Kim was there for a powerlifting competition. I was there and went out to the lake and did some videos out there and showed you guys a little bit about it. Um, I can't believe it, man. It's like, you can't launch a boat at Colville Bay. It's like, the place is just drying up. So what the situation is right now is um, you've got, there's three water intakes on Lake Mead that basically supply water to California, Arizona, everywhere with that. Um, the first water intake is a uh, is almost dry right now. The lake is at ten. It's at one thousand and we have one thousand and forty feet right now, which is about the bottom level for that first intake. <clears throat> the second intake is down at a thousand feet, and the uh, Hoover Dam predicts that probably within you know by the end of the year, the lake is going to be down to a thousand feet, which is going to make that second intake inoperable which is going to really severely limit the water flow you know to millions and millions of people and then the the very last intake is setting at 860 feet if it gets down to 860 feet which it will if something doesn't happen which it doesn't look like it's going to um, the the water cannot flow through lake mead to be pumped anywhere so uh, in essence lake mead would just return to being the colorado river and nobody would be able to get any water from it downstream. So that's, uh, there's nothing in the foreseeable future that says that that will not change because, because of the drought out there. And now, I don't know if you guys saw the report NASA released, but NASA uh, recently re released a report that they were talking about the, uh, you know, the, the extreme drought the associated with climate change for the desert Southwest and Lake Mead. It's the worst that it's been in 12 centuries. And with that, with that, with the uh, uh, climate change, you know, uh, in action out there and with the drought in action out there, there's no reason that they're going to have any type of a turnaround at all. It just points in the, in the opposite direction in every way. So that being said, uh, man, it doesn't look good out there for Lake Mead. Doesn't look good for Lake Mead. Doesn't look good for Lake Powell either. Lake Powell, another iconic fishery. You just don't hear as much about it, you know, simply because it doesn't have Las Vegas right there with it. But um, man, it just it just sucks. You know, it really does. I mean, those are two fisheries that I'm gonna I'm gonna guess if I had to, you know, Lake Mead is my favorite lake. I've got to put Lake Powell definitely in my top three. And uh, to see both of those lakes drying up is it, you know, pretty much sucks with that. So anyway, that's just that's part of it. That's just sort of the uh, new normal we find ourselves in. Um, I think this you're going to see, you know, this a little bit more common. These drastic uh, weather swings and everything. It's just part of the uh, the climate change cycle we find ourselves in right now. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on that, and I'll, I'll try to do another report with it. I'll probably try to do one as it gets closer to the first of the year to see if the lake did get down to the thousand foot range and if they got any predictions to, to see if it's going to drop below that. I do know from talking to the guys at Colville Bay that they have plans to try to move the marina sort of almost out of Colville Bay into the main lake and create a ramp out there where people can start using you know the lake again to some extent but then again if the lake continues to drop like it does, I don't see how they can keep up with it. I know that 
over the past uh, nine months on Lake Mead, the water level has dropped down as far as, uh, you know, on, depending upon the grade, the grades that basically uh, are suitable for a lawn tramp, they've, uh, they've dropped about 350 yards. So there's no way that anybody can keep up with that type of a lake drop on the places where they can put the ramps in. So anyway, guys, just wanted to give you that update. I just appreciated you guys uh, checking the video out and we'll talk later. See you.